In this video, we'll create the text objects. How to create text in Spline. You can select text from this drop-down menu, or click on the T icon on top. Then click on the surface you want to generate on. If I wanted to put on the machine, I would click here. You can also see that it becomes red. We want to create on the background rectangle, so I click here. And type the text you want. After that, we can change the size. And use the Properties menu on the right to change the font, for instance. 60 is probably good for now. I can also set the font family from here. Let's keep it robot regular. Go ahead and change the color as well. I'm going to use the color picker for this time. And click on this pipe to make the text the same color as the pipes. Now, it looks great, but maybe it can be a little thicker. Set the camera to 100% again. We can try other font families. How about this one? Maybe robot thin regular? Oh, that is extra thin. Let's try this one. All right, it looks nice. Roboto light regular it is then. Now adjust the position of the text. Just like this. Maybe we can move these to left. And put the text right here. Great. Now we want more text. Since we want the same font and same size, I'll just press Command plus D to duplicate this object. Move below, just bottom right corner of the screen. And I'll make the text 01. And it's the page number of the website. Let's put it here. Great. One more thing to do. We got to add description text just underneath of the title. I'll duplicate this one again for that text. I'm going to use smaller font size for this one. Maybe around 15 is okay. We need a dummy text here. Let's use lorem ipsum for that. Just copy from web and paste it here. Adjust and align the text. Maybe this is wider. And this is here. Actually, the text covers too much area. Maybe we can decrease the font size. Let's do around 12. And yeah, that's much better. All right, guys, this is how you add and adjust text in Spline. Head over to the next video where we'll create the rest of the pipes.